I woke up like this. <laughs> Flawless. That song plays in my head when I wake up in the morning and I just laugh, you know, the Beyonce Flawless song. Good morning, guys. I don't know why I feel so awkward vlogging right now. Austin's in the other room and I always feel awkward when I know you can hear me vlogging. Guys, there was an earthquake. Oh my goodness. I now know why all of the actors and actresses live in Los Angeles because oh my drama. There was a decent sized earthquake last night. I actually, it woke, completely woke me up, which has never happened before. I've always felt the little earthquakes because I've usually been awake, but I was completely dead asleep. I was having a dream that Austin was getting arrested because he was letting Audrey twerk in public. And I was telling him we should just get in the car and leave. And then all of a sudden I felt this like, hardcore shaking, I was like, oh, what the what? And I woke up and I actually saw the walls like shaking. It was really scary. Austin, didn't he didn't feel a dang thing. He just stayed asleep. Earthquakes need to be like. Oh, did you fart? Oh, oh, you stanky. I don't even remember. Earthquakes need to be like a five minute thing for uh -huh. them to affect me. Yeah, no one woke up. I was the only one. <laughs> This guy was still sleeping. Audrey Bear. Oh, speaking of Audrey Bear, last night, forget the earthquake, the child climbed out of her crib again. Um, and on the monitor, I was actually feeding Kai. It was like five in the morning, and I hear her crying, and I'm like, oh no. And I look, and she's not in her crib. I look on the monitor, and she's not in her crib, and I like wake Austin, and I was like, oh no, she climbed out of her crib and like hurt herself. She was crying, so he went in there. She actually was not crying because she like climbed out on herself. She was cry crying because she couldn't find her passy. You guys know we, we tried switching her to the toddler bed like a little over a month ago and it just did not go well and we were sick and just blah, 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 and we just decided to put her back in the crib. Well now I think we're gonna have to officially put her in the toddler bed but I think we're just gonna wait till after playlist because it doesn't make sense to try to do it now we're leaving the playlist in three days. So anyway, with that said, let's go get the child. You wanna go get your sister with me? <laughs> Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Hold on. Hey, can Kai Kai come in your crib with you? Oh, good morning. Is Kai Kai in your crib with you? <laughs> he doesn't look very impressed. He's like, Mom, why would you put me in here with her? He's just chilling on Mickey. Look at that. They best buddies. Say good morning. Good morning. That's the camera. Yeah. Um, it's St. Patrick's Day. Should you wear green so you don't get pinched? Oh, wait, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Did you climb out of your crib, B? You did? Why did you do that? Do you know how to climb out of your crib? You know. You do? Are you going to show me how you climb out? <laughs> you're going to show me? <laughs> oh my goodness. You're really going to show me? Oh, <laughs> Okay, keep going. Show me. Show mommy how you climb out. Go ahead. Can you me? Yeah, go ahead. Show me how. How do you do it? Is that how? Go ahead. Climb out. Let mama see. Hello. You don't know how? No, you don't know how to climb out? But you, you were just going to show me. Show mommy how you do it. Show us your secret. Is that how you do it? Oh, but you're stuck. I guess I shouldn't be encouraging. I should probably be encouraging her to show me. Did Mickey Mouse tell you how to climb out? That naughty Mickey, I knew he was up to no good. Did he say, Adriana, climb out of your crib? My my Mickey voice isn't as good as Dad's, sorry. No. No. <laughs> Love you. Woo, you got a stinky bum. Pew, wee. Bye. <laughs> okay. Guys, look, there's a squirrel and he's been out there. He's not running away, it's kind of creepy. Why is he still there? Oh, he's a rodent. Squirrels are rodents. Oh, is he gonna eat the pasta? We have dried pasta out there to play with. Oh my gosh, I think he's gonna eat it. Oh, that's so creepy. Yay! That is so creepy. Oh. Oh my goodness, he's eating the pasta. He stole the pasta. <laughs> that's what he wanted, Audrey. I guess we probably shouldn't leave that out there. Fuck. Did he get the pasta out and eat it? He ran away. That naughty little squirrel. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Did he steal the pasta and run away? You parents out there, do any of you have um, a trunk that looks like this? Our strollers take up so much room that we barely have room for groceries. So we're at Sprouts. I actually remembered to bring bags today. I'm so proud of myself because LA, they don't they charge you for bags because it's LA and they have to charge you for everything apparently. Okay, should we get some strawberries? You have yeah, your arsenal baby. of babies. Who are you? Who but babies did you bring with you? Baby Sarah and baby Lisa. Okay, the snack monster overtook us and we had to open up something. That 
that's always what happens when we grocery shop, isn't it? It just reminds us that we need a snack. No. Well, that's what I got you. Don't be picky. Here, take a bite. It's yummy. You've had these before. You like it. Yummy. No. No. <laughs> you don't want it? Well, sorry, sister. That's what you're getting. Goodness. Shopping with kids, man. <laughs> Where are we going? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, we're going to Trader Joe's. Uh, uh. Can you say Trader Joe's? Uh, uh. Say Trader Joe's. Uh, uh. No, Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. Uh, uh. Uh, you just said Trader Joe's. Be cute for the camera. Hey, what color is your shirt? Green. Green, good job, because it's St. Patty's Day. Someone informed me that on my Instagram picture, I put happy St. Patty's Day, like P-A-T-T-Y-S, and someone informed me, oh, excuse me, they're Irish, and they said that it's either St. Patrick's Day or St. Patty's with two Ds. So, I apologize. I'm not Irish, okay? I didn't know, I don't know how y'all do it, sorry. This is how we get the groceries to the, to the door, because when you live in an apartment, it's kind of a hassle, so. Yeah, we just put them all in the stroller and then I make her push it. Good job, Audrey. You're so strong. Okay, both the babies are asleep, which means I can organize, guys. This has been, well, this is organized. This may not look organized to some people, but this looked atrocious before. It actually looks a lot better now. Like the snacks aren't overflowing. Everything has a place now, so I feel so much better. I don't know about you guys. I get this weird, creepy, crawly feeling when my house isn't organized. Like it makes me have anxiety so badly. I'm just trying to get things in order a little bit, but you know what? Shout out to my amazing mother-in-law who is actually gonna be staying with Audrey when we go to Playlist because we're leaving Audrey here this time. She's so awesome. Most daughters, or not most, but some daughters, you know, when their mother-in-law is coming to town, they get super stressed out and they feel like they have to clean everything and like, I don't know, I've just heard horror stories of people that have terrible mother-in-laws and I have the best mother-in-law ever. Like, I seriously, she's so sweet. Like, she's cleaned my house before and like, she just, she's awesome. Like, I don't even feel bad having her clean. I mean, I, I don't try to leave a mess, but she's just really sweet. She loves to like get things done and she'll just be like, oh yeah, I just clean for you and it's totally fine and like, I don't know, she's just so sweet and I never feel worried when she's gonna come to town. Like, oh my gosh, my house is a mess. I better, you know, make it look better. Or I better like put on this show for my mother-in-law. Like she's just super down to earth and like you guys have watched her in the vlog. She's just awesome. So shout out to her. I'm so excited that she's coming to watch Audrey. Audrey is gonna have so much fun with and I'm just, oh, I'm just so excited. I'm just getting so excited for playlists, you guys. Oh my goodness. I go from like being stressed out when I'm about to go out of town to being like super excited like the few days before I leave. So I'm in that mode now. I just tweeted about this. Okay, let me explain. I asked Austin about our schedule and he was like running down, you know, like everything we're gonna be doing at Playlist. He's like, we have this meet and greet at 10. We have this at 10.30. We have this panel at 11. And I was like, what are we gonna eat? <laughs> Any of you moms out there who have breastfeed, you know. When you're breastfeeding, you are hungry. Like you have to eat. Like you can't, it can't just be like, oh, we're just gonna skip lunch or just skip breakfast and Fine. I mean, maybe some of you are, are like that, but I'm not. I'm one of those breastfeeding moms that when I get hungry, I get hangry, and we all don't want that Britney coming to playlist. So I decided to stock up. I'm gonna pack all of this. And yes, I'm a packing ninja. I will show you how I will get all this in a bag, a tiny bag at that. I am a packing ninja. I will get all this to fit, and it'll be perfectly fine. All right, guys, I just got home. I had to go uh, do some work somewhere, but um, I come home to this. Like I'm everyone, such a great mom. We're doing an activity. everyone's just sitting around watching Frozen. This guy's in on the action. Are you watching Frozen? Are you watching Frozen? Are you watching Frozen? Are you eating popcorn too? Wow. So, do you even know what I'm saying to you right now, or are you just watching Frozen? Oh no. She's very into this. <laughs> Oh, you're happened? Oh, you're still alive. Okay, just making sure. So we are on a family walk. Whoa. What do you think about this walk? We're just gonna, um, we're gonna buy a house. So just figure we'd come walk around and I like that house. That house is dope. Look at, I like how it has that entrance. That's a dope. Oh yeah, and all those bushes, those are dope too. If Dad Dad picks you a flower, will you not bug us anymore? I'll pick you this flower. Okay, don't tell any, don't tell any, guys, don't tell anyone. There you go, I picked you a flower, okay? Say thanks, Dad, Dad, can you, sm can you smell it? Aww, true love. Brittany and I were just randomly talking, we were like, we should, we should get a house. 
We should get out of this apartment life, man. It's hard to find houses in LA though that you can afford unless you're like a baller, so. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, um, I just thought it was funny the part you said unless you're like a baller. What? <laughs> that, it's true. It is. It's hard to find that's houses if you're like a normal up. person. Oh dang, that's dope. And they got cameras too. That's dope. I want a house and I want a cool, oh, that'd be so dope if we had a palm tree. This is how I get Audrey to um, not cry, all right? We, we play, we play, it's called a bongo drum. Ready, okay, set, play that, that's bomb like a bongo drum. Bongo drums, bongo drums. The it's right there, yeah. coming. I knew that you were coming. <laughs> don't you guys love bottom bongo drums? It makes everything don't so much even, better. Don't even, don't <gasps> Ooh, wait, can I just do it once? No. For my own pleasure? For my oh. own pleasure? No. no. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> bum ba ba bum 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 bum. I love it. Aww, oh, she loves you. Guys, bottom bongo drums brings a family closer together, okay? If your kids ever crying or your marriage is suffering, just play bottom bongo drums, okay? It's a real thing. Mm, go away. Success is the belief that my life is workable. I can do what is required of me in the pursuits and responsibilities that I have committed to. It includes having a productive career and making enough money for your family, but it's not limited to this. Your sense of success will also encompass the way you interact with each other, raise your children, take care of your body, cope with stress, make decisions, and manage your time. Oh, kill em. We are listening to a new book that we got on Audible called The Marriage Code. And it's about discovering your own secret languages of love. Ooh. Yeah. Like booty shaking. Like, like shake your booty and I will love you. No, but yeah, you guys know that Audible is a great supporter of our show. Um, and if you want to get a free book, you can. You can sign up with our link down below, audible.com slash the nine and you get a free book when you sign up. Actually, earlier tonight, we were just talking about our marriage. And um, yeah, we, we have a we have an announcement, guys. Um, we're gonna stay married. But no, actually, that was an interesting thing that they were saying, though. You know, I always judge success on like, oh yeah, what am I doing in life? How's my job? Blah blah blah. But a big part of it, especially in a marriage, is like, how are we raising our kids? How are we like, you know, doing as a couple? How All much that kind dessert of have we had? Are we eating chocolate together? These are the life's biggest questions. So yeah, if you guys want to check that out, maybe you're married or maybe there's something else you want to check out. Audible has a great list of books. There's like over 180,000 books I think they have. It's or maybe you want to be married and you want to tell your crush, Ooh. I read this book on marriage, you should propose to me. Anyways guys, once again, audible.com slash the nine knolls, sign up, get a free book on us. Thank you to Audible for hooking it up. And yeah, we are gonna, we're gonna call tonight. We're gonna have some dessert, listen to some Audible, chill out I'm, Max, I'm relax and all cool. I'm not sharing any of it. Oh, you a little nasty right now. We'll talk to you later. Later, peace.